All right. Hello, this is Hang 'em High 2000 again. This is my FM Famous Maker 3 to 9 by 26 millimeter objective scope, that, a technical scope that you can get in um, JNGSales.com or Sportsman's Guide. Dot com. That's plural. Sportsman's Guide. Dot com. Okay, so far the worst thing on it is these see through the lens lens cover. See? Because look at the gap there. So the best way to do that is I'm going to pause for that. Is just pop these off with a knife. See? And in there you can pull the knots up. See? And just retighten them again. See? And put the plugs back in. Now she's on there nice and tight. Okay, this is my Famous Maker FM 3 to 9 by 26 millimeter objective scope with uh, like a sunshade in it. It's got these uh, see through the lens scope covers. And uh, right there you can see it's almost like a sunshade. It's about uh, five, 5 of an 8 inch depth in there all right so it measures at measures here at uh, I believe that's 21 centimeters or eight and a half inches see that that's with this uh, adjustable Doppler if you wear glasses then you can wear just regular uh, shooting glasses if you adjust this out to your uh, reading glasses only yep so yeah see you can adjust that and there's the 3 to 9 power the 3 to 9 power is pretty easy to turn which is easy to turn on one of the e the more expensive scopes that I've seen around and uh, also it's got these integrated laser 1913 rails that are like over a hundred years old so what that does is that in the base too, see? So what that does is that uh, it's kind of like, uh, say, like a truss on a bridge. It, it's, it actually makes the tube stronger. Not only that, but see, there's no scope rings on it. And what happens is a lot of these guys, when they give a bad review, we'll use this for an example. They put that in there, and they're like, and the scope is contorted just a little bit and every time they shoot it it starts to contort out again you know and they have the scope all screwed up anyway because if you'll see like at the midway Larry Potterfield sells a kit to lap out the scope rings and all so this eliminates that problem and we're mounting it on this uh, this GSG AK here Kalishnikov right here made in Germany it's a 22 so for that it's perfect okay it's got the fingertip turret see you don't have to take no cap off or use any sort of uh, coin or anything see these screws right there you can take those screws out so when you finally have it adjusted you could turn that it's just held by friction on the top plate there in the bottom this bottom thing and you'll be able to set it for zero on both of them illuminated blue reticle it takes me a while to get it right up see with the military dot there see and it's got adjustable from one to seven that's the one end of the spectrum and that's also that's the lowest setting so yeah that's good for darkness the blue is way better than the green or the red so if you can get the blue get the blue Especially like if you wear reading glasses or something and you are using the Doppler. We're going to mount it on this KVAR Corporation, but we're not. We have a Chinese one that's just as, it's just as tight on there. See? And that there has a pin on it there 
So when you set it, it goes right to like, right where it's supposed to be. It won't go up any further, see? We're going to weigh it. They say it weighs uh, 14 ounces in the book. But, uh... All right, if you want one of these things, you can get them for under $19 at Harbor Freight. Just make sure it's flat there. Here's the uh, box for coming. Right there is the the number 95364. Uh, I think that's grams, isn't it? So you push the mode. Oh yeah, there it is. It's 14, just like they said, 14 ounces, 14.2 ounces. Yep. So that was pretty accurate on their part about eight and three quarters which is pretty short for a scope you know yeah so it's pretty compact at that so it's perfect for this type of rail so we have this rail here which is definitely uh russian made and this one here kvar i think that's russian made too i'm not sure and then we have this chinese one the only problem with this chinese one they cost like 10 bucks, man. Um, it's pretty well looks just like the KVAR, right? It's a little lighter. I don't know. Let's weigh them, too. The only problem with this is this top piece right here. You need to crimp it in your vise or something because it keeps popping off and then tap it on there. That's why you see where I was, uh, you know, messing around till I got it so that doesn't pop off, but it should be like TIG welded on there. Yep, you'll see like the KVAR is like one solid piece, so it's not going to pop off. To adjust these things, you push down on them like this. I think you need like a tool though, like this. Yeah, see, you push down on them like that and just turn this over just one notch at a time. Same thing with this one. Now this here is a real Russian one. And this has the same problem. It pops off if you pop this over too much, so I had to bend that like it's springed, you know, at an angle like I'm doing my finger there, because if it's too, too flat, that will pop off. But this thing... It's really hardcore made. So let's weigh them all up too. Okay, here's the KVAR. That's seven and a half ounces. Let's go with the Chinese one. See, six point three tenths, thirty-five hundredths. And this one here is just way insane you know 11 and a half ounces almost so uh probably yeah this the k bar is obviously the better one but since we're only sticking in on a 22 it's not gonna much matter with this 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 locks in pretty tight you know there's not really much more to it than that if i want to like i said i can tighten it up another notch by just turning this one more. I don't know, I think this is from zero to infinite parallax. Anyway, if you don't know what parallax is, it would be like you driving a car, you know, and the speed armor on the needle says 60 miles an hour, but you over there in the passenger seat remember going, Mom, you're only doing 50. That's because of the parallax, if you're sitting over in the passenger seat, you know, Makes it look like it's 50, but it's still 60, you know, from you looking at this angle, you know, and she kept saying, no, no, it's 60. And you're going, no, it's really 50. And you go, no, it is. And then you reach your head over here and look, that's parallax. So a lot of you don't even know what you're talking about when you talk about parallax. So in other words, what I'm saying, as long as you keep your eye straight in the scope here, there is no such thing as parallax. You can't, like go off that far like oh geez look I'm looking at it from this angle you know there's only so much angle you can look at and also they said 
that this has nine inches of eye relief. It doesn't, it does, but you don't get the full eye relief. You don't get the full objective there of the, the scope. At six inches, you do. I measured my eye with that ruler, and at six inches, you get full eye relief. So this is even also a good scope for that. So I have not seen any negative reviews with this scope, and I've had it for a couple years now, and I love them. I, I'd buy another one, really. I, I swear by these scopes. For the price, I think you can get them. They're under 60 bucks. This is probably the best, cheapest scope you can get. When you buy the thing, it has no packaging at all. There's no directions or nothing, and that's right there, probably 25 bucks right there at cost cut, you know? Yeah, all that fancy, and then you're not paying for no name label. Whoever heard it, FM. See? Like I said, um, jngsales.com and sportsmanguide.com are the only places that got it. So yeah, and you'll look, look on sportsmanguide.com and JNG, you'll see they just like got the five star rating. There's not a negative review, not even a four star. I mean, they just freaking love these scopes. They are awesome, man, I'm telling you. So for mounting this thing, you'll see they mount the Picatinny rail forward. Or the 1913 rail means it's 100 years old like Glock was. I mean like uh, the 1911 was. So what you're trying to do is stick it on your finger there to find out where it's balanced best. And you can see it's balanced towards the rear. See? It's balanced towards the rear of the scope. So that's why this is exceedingly forward like that. Because you do want to mount it exceedingly forward instead of back here. Which would cause, you know, the scope rail to cock back like this by shooting it again. So to keep it accurate longer, put it here. Also, they don't even give you an Allen wrench. Another probably $5 savings. Actually, you know those Allen wrenches only cost like 10 cents. But yeah, it saves you the money. And then you can get a whole set of these at Harbor Freight for $5. These are the early ones that had colors. So you didn't even have to recognize the number three. So that's what size it is. I don't think it matters. You can just stick it anywhere on that rail. It'll fit a weaver rail, see? So, a lot of guys want to know if this works. There must be something. You must have a plastic rail or something. That's the only uh, negative comment I got was some guy says it didn't fit the... Uh, it wobbled on the rail. You have to watch these guys. They're selling their products, too. So they, they're going to get mad that I'm saying that this doesn't wobble on the rail at all. Look. See? Yeah. See that? Let's see if we could do that. Try that once. Can you do that? Try that now. How about that? Can you do that? in all the way you throw the lever and there it is so I'd have to say that's probably your best scope for this rare for this uh, gun here the uh, Kalishnikov so there it is the Kalishnikov with the famous maker 3 to 9 power 26 millimeter With the Picatinny rails and the the uh, finger adjustment turrets that you can take apart and set back for zero. It's got the blue reticle in there. It's got the uh, Doppler on the back here. You can adjust it if you wear glasses. You don't need to wear your glasses. You can just get any of those fancy hunting glasses like.